So I feel like the addition of Revenant to the game really adds a little more spice into the, into the lore, into the story, because he really does bring something here. And he's the first villain that I've actually met in game. I'm not sure maybe Ash is also a villain because judging by the season trailer for season four, she was one of the robots that was built by Hammond Robotics. And I think Revenant is also one of the robots built by Hammond Robotics, or maybe it's a competitor. I'm not entirely sure but let's see what happens in season five game over tin can <laughs> tin can mirage is there once again oh yeah something that i noticed is that season four trailer didn't have mirage at all because in all of the season trailers i've watched so far mirage is always there and almost every time he's the main character of the story but season four was completely different because there was only one legend and it was only just part of the story and they didn't show any other legend there Loba. Oh, it's the first time I've actually met Loba. So this might be her launch trailer as well. Oh my god, there are millions of revenants. That could also probably Ash. Jesus, the music is amazing. Oh, she was Loba! The kid was Loba! Why didn't I realize it? It was on her head! It was the same hairstyle! Yeah, <laughs> boy. Oh, hey, these are the bots from the armory. Oh my god, sheesh! Someone's behind you. Hey, uh... there's more. Come to kill me, little girl. Someday. But for now. Loba Andrade, I should have known. Oh my god, that was amazing. I knew that little girl from season four was gonna be something. Oh hell no! I knew she was I, I initially thought she was gonna be lifeline due to I don't know, it just feels like because there's they have a Spanish descent. I, I I know I know Lifeline's not Spanish, but I just thought maybe you know because she was she was orphaned and she turned out to be an engineer, which I think would fit the lore if it was Lifeline, but it well it clearly isn't because it's Loba, it's Loba. <laughs> yes, 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 I approve. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> 10 out of 10, music is amazing, art style is amazing. Once again, the cinematic story that follows it is amazing. I don't know why everybody wants to kill her at the end because it's, well, well, they're probably in Apex Legends, but she isn't supposed to be looking for Revenant in an Apex Legends game. So what is she doing there initially? Or maybe, or maybe they're not even fighting. Maybe they're just here to kind of just kind of group together but it is interesting to to kind of find out what happens next like how did loba turned out to be who she is now 
like did she take over Hammond Robotics is that even where Hammond Robotics that's that's happening because from what I understand in the previous trailer is that Hammond Robotics created Revenant and Ash that is well that's what I, I understand up until now but now I have a feeling that there are two rival companies and it is Hammond Robotics that built Ash and that is owned by Loba and her dad and well that well they're now dead but but I think whoever created Revenant is a different company that is a, a direct competitor of Hammond Robotics and that's why they're trying to overthrow it I'm not sure but it feels that way but overall i enjoyed this entire thing i have to know that song that's amazing it's not it's also i should have known it was loba i didn't i don't know why i didn't realize that from an early point i already saw her pigtails so she was rich that's why she acts so very eloquently now i understand why her lines really have that kind of elegance that kind of like the where, where like you know, you know things that only rich people would actually make you feel that's what loba feels like to me in game she has that that kind of finesse that i find in no other character but her but she must have i didn't think that i thought she was a fashionista and that she has a very light story but it turns out she has a very deep rooted revengeful story i didn't know that so I, it turns out she is quite she is quite both a villain and an anti-villain. I can't say for sure right now because from what I see right now is just she's just trying to get revenge on what happened to her family. So she's looking for whoever created uh, Revenant, and she finally finds out that there are so many of them, and the real Revenant is actually still alive. So in my head, all of these Revenants here are given the same memory of killing her family, which is you know she kind of looks like Bangalore here by the way. That's kind of sad. I didn't know her story was this sad. But props to the creator of Loba. Her character design is flawless. The way she was introduced to the story and lore of Apex Legends is, is really good because it has history, isn't it? Like at first it was Revenant who was introduced in season 4 release trailer and there was a young Loba over there and then suddenly in season 5 they introduced the young girl. And she's now grown up and she's now ready to kill Revenant once again. I don't know how she fits into the story of the other legends because it seems like Revenant and Loba and maybe also Ash have their own story that is apart from what everything else is happening from everyone else. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens next. But this will be where we end the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. I have, I have been recording this straight non-stop but I know I will be uploading this in the couple like in, in span of weeks to come but this is why my voice is actually screwing up now but thank you so much i hope you still stay with me don't forget to also yeah don't forget to like the the video share this with your friends and subscribe to see more once again my name is Evan, a voice actor and i am a addicted valorant player but now i'm also getting addicted to apex legends now that i have learned all the lore and the cinematics and the storyline behind every character see you next time